So today I have with me someone who cleared the just pay hiring challenge last year, and he is currently working as software engineer at just pay. So just pay hiring challenge 2025 applications are open. You can apply link in the description. So this challenge is open to all students who are graduating in 2026, irrespective of college and branch. And if you get selected, you will be offered an internship of 40,000 stipend. And if you convert from the internship to full time and the conversion rate is pretty high, then you will be getting a full time role with just pay and the salary is around 21 to 27 lakhs per annum. So this is a golden opportunity. And for that, we have, have with us Sai Teja, who is a EC graduate from NIT Delhi and who is currently a product engineer at just pay. So hello, Sai. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so first of all, uh, tell me who is eligible for this competition. Yeah, so who are uh, they are from 2026 batch, like uh, irrespective of their branches, the people from 2026 batch are eligible for this. But what is the program structure? Like how many rounds are there? The first round will be of uh, MCQs and the second round will be of uh, a coding round, which is focused only on programming data structures and algorithms and once uh, mm -hmm. they clear the both the online assessment then the interviews will follow yeah so uh, coming to the first round the mcq round uh, what kind of questions are asked and how much time is there if you remember in my case uh, the round consisted exactly 16 questions and uh, 54 minutes time is given and it contains uh, topics like cs fundamentals mostly operating system computer networks and dbms and uh, programming and data structures and algorithms and maths and physics and logical reasoning so these are the topics and yeah you will be given 54 uh, minutes and for maths and physics for physics mostly the questions will be from uh, resolving the force components like based on force and also uh, like the motion like acceleration velocity and those kind of things like class 12th difficulty level so they can focus mostly on these uh, topics and like maths is like similar to aptitude itself like calculations percentage ratio and uh, uh, probability mm, yeah and the cs fundamentals and DSA questions. And I also have the list of questions. So last year, the questions that were asked, I found them. So I have created a list of all the questions that were asked in a PPT. So as you can see, uh, I have collected questions all over the internet, wherever I could find. So in this, I have a lot of MCQ questions. So I'll provide the link in the description. So as you can see, some questions like, you know, logical based. And there are other questions also that are related to DSA. So the link will be in the description. So I think this will be super helpful to everyone. So coming to the next round, that is the coding round. So this time it is mentioned it's 90 minutes. So can you tell like approximately how many questions will be there and what questions you were asked and what topics are important for this? Yeah, so basically the coding round consists of three questions and it will be focused mainly on topics like trees, binary search and dynamic programming yeah but mostly on trees like most uh, half half portion of it is like trees and there would be mostly there would be like uh, in my case last year there is one famous question from jsp tree of space question like it is the hard question in that online assessment challenge and the other two questions will be based on any other topics like binary trees or band research and dp and they will be like medium level difficulty so yeah. i also know that graph based questions are asked so graph tree dp binary research and again i will provide the link to the questions in the details so like sai has mentioned a few questions to me so i actually found the exact question so all of that will be in the in the description yeah and also one thing is that for uh, online assessment and even for the interviews like uh, trying to prepare from previous uh, year questions it might help like most probably you may get some repeated last year questions 
Yeah. Right? From what I know, just they ask similar kind of questions every year. So even if you search for previous year questions, I think many questions are from at least the same topics or similar concepts. So please practice last year questions for sure. And in this round, it is mentioned that your score will be based on how many questions you solve, how fast you solve them, and how many test cases pass. And of course, also on probably the code quality. So you should also try to see that code quality is there and try not to copy from anywhere because if it is found that you copied from somewhere, you might be plagiarized and you know, uh, you might be disqualified. So make sure you don't do that. What happens if someone actually clears the coding round? What are the next steps? Yeah, so the like there will be one profile verification round. Like they need to uh, update their personal details uh, in that thing, and it will be for around open for three to two to three days. So in the meantime, they need to update those details. Post that they will get. Uh, they will be having interviews. Like the first round will be of uh, maybe one and a half to two hours, and it will mostly consist of uh, one DSA question. Like in my case, it was a binary search based question. So that will be the first round of interview. So the second interview round is a hackathon round and it will be a whole day long. Like uh, in my case, it is from 11.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the evening. So the interview will be based on uh, discussing the tree of space question in the online assessment round and you will be discussing how you solved it and then we will optimize the question uh, optimize the solution and then the interviewer will ask you to make the solution thread safe like even if multiple threads are uh, working parallelly then the code should be thread safe like a race around condition should be solved so that's it and you can't use any inbuilt library or atomic functions, uh, mutex, logs, etc. So just to clarify, you were asked the same question as in your OA and you were just yeah. told to make it better. Okay, so that's also another reason to not cheat. Like you can be asked in the interview later, like how did you do it? So uh, after the hackathon round, uh, from now on, the interviews, number of interviews might uh, vary and also the mode of interview might vary. Like this time I heard that even the hackathon round is taking place offline. For some people, uh, after the hackathon round, they will be called to office and one day they might have two interview rounds and that will be it. And um, two people might have, uh, after having those uh, offline two rounds, they may still have one online round. Like in my case, uh, all the interviews were offline. so. After the hackathon round, the second interview round, the third round will be a systems interview. So a senior developer will be taking your interview and uh, it will be uh, real world based questions. Uh, and it will mostly, most probably the questions will, the question will be on uh, computer networks or operating system. The third round is uh, mostly open ended, like the interview may ask anything, but mostly it is around OS and CN and uh, real world and practical questions only and i need to mention one thing so uh, yeah in the systems round the interviewer will just be uh, brainstorming with you and he won't expect uh, a final answer or correct answer he will just analyze how you are navigating through the question like uh, how are you thinking and how are you like uh, solving the problem yeah that's it in my case, we discussed only on context switching and single core machine and why context switching and on single core machine, how it happens and why do we need context switching? Uh, so these kind of stuff, some people discuss about ports. The interviewer might ask about uh, when you open Chrome and you use 10 tabs simultaneously, how are they able to communicate with other systems simultaneously and those kind of questions. So it is mostly open ended, but the interviewer may ask anything like sometimes they might also ask low level design like oops coding question. So this is the third round and my fourth round was with product manager. Mostly the fourth round, the final round is with product manager and he may ask one or two puzzles and he will just discuss about your profile, your uh, B-Tech journey and your achievements and projects, etc. 
so where did you prepare for you know online assessment and the interview round etc for uh, programming and data structures and algorithms uh, like i practiced uh, on lead code and for aptitude you can refer to india bex uh, website physics like you can cover topics from 12th standard and mostly basic things like uh, force and uh, motion that's it try to prepare mostly from previous year interview questions like Uh, there is a high chance you may get the same questions for uh, cs fundamentals try to uh, learn practical questions like like think about real world problems so this is it for the video hit subscribe if you like the video and comment for more